Hi, I'm the Iowa Prairie Girl. Tonight I am at the White Wildlife Area in Rock Falls, Iowa, Saragota County, North Iowa. It is June 1st, 2023. Tonight we're going to take a look at Dame's Rocket. And as you can see, there is a lot of Dame's Rocket here at the White Wildlife Area. Dame's Rocket is a non-native and it is an invasive plant. So if you stick around, we'll take a further look at Dame's Rocket. We're going to identify it, look at its name, and talk about is it a good plant or a bad plant. Stay tuned. start by looking at the flower. Dame's Rocket is easily confused with the native uh, flower, Phlox. So Phlox have five petals, whereas uh, Dame's Rocket has four petals. Now as you can see around me, Dame's Rocket comes in lots of different colors. So we have from white to a pinkish white to a dark pink to a light purple to a real pretty dark purple. So all different kinds of colors that uh, Dame's Rocket can be found in. Uh, Dame's Rocket also has a yellow stamen, although really when I take a close-up picture, it's really difficult to see the stamens. Uh, Dame's Rocket is very prolific, as you can see. It blooms everywhere. Um, it is very invasive. So when we talk about invasive, uh, this is a non-native plant. It came over to the United States sometime in the 17th century, and it has spread everywhere across all of North America. So it either it, it came over with um, settlers or it also has become uh, invasive by it's sometimes mixed in with wildflower seed mixes and it gets spread that way as well. Um, it develops a very long seed pod, a very narrow seed pod. Um, I'm going to see if I can find one. They grow at about, about four inches long, and they're very thin. Um, they just have one single row of seeds in them, uh, and then they burst open and they spread their seeds everywhere. Um, and that's how the seeds are spread in such a place as where I'm here in the woods. They, they just pop and spread everywhere. Again, you can just see um, how we have flowers just growing everywhere around me. I described for you the seed pod. Uh, there's a word for that that I just learned. It's called sequila, and that describes that seed pod, the long, narrow um, pod. Uh, Dame's Rocket is in the same family as garlic mustard or other mustard plants, and also in the arugula plant. So the word rocket comes from a, des a description of those types of plants. So rocket is an English word and it describes plants that are um, of the spicy peppery taste. So that's where we get the word rocket. Um, dame re refers to a, a female um, and lots of different uh, ideas of why we call it a dame's rocket. Uh, one is because they do have a very nice fragrance. It's kind of a spicy, clovey kind of smell. Um, the neat thing about Dame's Rocket is is that in the daytime you really can't smell Dame's Rocket, and then towards evening uh, they become more fragrant, and it does really does have a nice fragrance. So you have Dame's, meaning uh, either meaning it could be meaning uh, more of a motherly motherly time of of word. Or I kind of prefer to think of it as Dame as um, they're thinking of the ladies of the night because that's when the Dame's Rocket lets out its, its uh, tempting fragrance. Dame's Rocket is one of those flowers that has all kinds of nicknames. So you have Dame's Rocket, which I've already explained to you. We have Mother of the Evening, Dame's Violet, a Jilly Flower, a dame's jilly flower and the night scented jilly flower. So jilly flower means a fragrant flower that's usually pink or white. So lots of different names. So we talked about names but another name is the flower of deceit and that goes along with the thought that it doesn't have much fragrance during the daytime but come evening it's going to lure you in with its spicy fragrance. It's also called a vesper flower. Vesper meaning an evening prayer so it's an evening flower. 
If we take a look at the leaf, the leaf is a, a lance-shaped leaf. It's got very, it's fine-toothed, and it has very little stalk. So it's either, it's almost sessile, meaning that it goes right up to the stem, or there might be a real small petiole, and you might have a real, see a real small stalk. Vitamin C. That's what these leaves are good for. They're full of vitamin C, and so they were often eaten. Um, they kind of have a bitter taste to them. You can eat them just like spinach. Of course, they're best in the springtime, but they were often eaten uh, for a treatment for scurvy. As I've pointed out, uh, James Rocket is invasive. It is, it is non-native and it spreads everywhere. So what should you do? Should you plant Dame's Rocket? Most people would say no. Um, you might find it in a mixture of wildflower seeds and you should really try to avoid uh, that packet of wildflower seeds. Many people try to uh, eradicate Dame's Rocket from the woods or from their ditches. The best way to do it is to pull it. It has a short tap root. You need to pull it, bag it, and then you need to burn it. And they even say burn it before it has a seed pod because even that seed pod might uh, survive that, that fire. Um, so it is invasive. And why is it a problem? Why is an invasive plant like this a problem? Because as you can see, it really adds color to the woods behind me and it's really quite pretty. But when you have a plant that takes over the woods like this, the problem is, is that the native wildflowers then uh, don't have a place to grow because this one takes over um, all the places for the native wildflowers. So it really an invasive flower is not desirable um, in our wildlife areas um, in North America. So to close this non-native evasive plant is pretty. Uh, it does add color to the woods. You'll find it, like I said, in the ditches or in open woodland. Um, it grows to be about two to four feet tall. It gets very heavy with flowers and then also the seed pod become heavy. And towards the end of um, its growing season, it actually might kind of start to droop because it is so heavy. So, I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, I hope that you learned something about Dame's Rocket. And um, please make sure that you subscribe to my, my videos. Uh, look for Iowa Prairie Girl. There's many videos out there. And I'll be making more this summer. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you get out and see the wonderful.